Welcome to pre-math. Today our topic is how to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So the very first thing we're we going to do is make sure that we have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this number 6 must go on the right hand side. So what are we going to do is I want you to just subtract 6 from both sides. So this is pretty much gone. This is cancelled out. So we are left with 35 x square plus 29 x equals to negative 6. So the next step I want to make sure you understand this one. This is very crucial. Make sure that your leading coefficient is 1. That means the coefficient of x square must be 1. That means we're going to divide this one by 35. If you divide this one by 35, you're going to divide by 35 across the board. Divide each and every term. So that is going to give you simply this becomes 1x square plus 29 over 35 x equals to negative 6 over 35. So far so good. Now I want you to just simply focus on this coefficient of x, this quantity, this fraction, which is 29 over 35. I want you to write it down somewhere here. 29 over 35. I want you to take the half of this fraction, this number. Taking a half, multiplying, just simply multiply by 1 over 2. So I'm going to multiply by 1 over 2. So that means once again, whatever this fraction times 1 over 2. So that is going to give us 29 over 70. So far so good. Now the last step is I want you to whatever you got this quantity take the square of this one. So this is the number that we got. Now we're going to add this number on both sides of this equation. So let's go ahead and write it down. So I'm going to write down x square plus 29 over 35 x then plus I want you to put down plus right up here and negative 6 over 35 plus. Now let me go ahead and just write down whatever this quantity is add on both sides. So I'm going to write down 29 over 70 square on this side and 29 over 70 square on this side. So far so good. Now I want you to just simply focus on the left hand side. This thing. This represents a complete square of simply x plus 29 over 70 square. Now you might be wondering how we got this thing. I'm going to explain it to you in just a minute. So we got negative 6 over 35 plus 29 square is going to become 841 divided by 70 square is simply 4900. So we applied this fact right up here okay to complete a square so now let's go ahead and move on to next step so now i want you to just simply look at this part over here just look at this part on the right hand side 
So I copied these fractions right up here. I'm going to simplify right here. Let's do this one over here. We want to make sure that we have the same denominator. If I multiply both sides on the top and bottom by 140 on the top and 140 on the bottom on this left hand side fraction. So that is simply is going to give us negative 8 40 divided by when you multiply 35 times 140 it simply become 4900 plus 8 41 over 4900. As you can see, we have the same common denominator. We can just write, write it once. So I'm going to write down 4900. And on the top, it simply become negative 840 plus 841. So the next step is I want you to just simplify. So that is on the top is going to become simply 1 over 4900. So this is what we got when we simplified. I want you to put it down right back over here. Okay. So this simply becomes right now we got x plus 29 over 70 square and we know that we simplified that one we that turns out to be 1 over 4900 so the next thing what we're going to do is you see that this we have a square on the left hand side and we have a this fraction on the right hand side we want to undo this square taking the undo squaring means we're going to take the square root on both sides Take the square root on this side and take the square root on this side. So as you can see over here, this square and square root, they undo each other, they cancel each other out. We just simply got x plus 29 over 70 equals to positive are negative so the square root of 1 is 1 and the square root of 4900 is 70 now here you can see I use this kind of fact over here the properties of radicals I just split them up and simplified 1 over 70 so next thing what are we gonna do is I want you to move we wanna isolate this X so I want you to move this quantity this fraction on the right hand side so we simply got x equal to this 29 over 70 is going to become negative 29 over 70 plus or minus 1 over 70 so far so good so now the next step is since we have the same common denominator i can write x equal to 70 at the denominator negative 29 plus or minus 1. So in the next step I want you to uh, look at these two signs. I want you to separate these two signs okay positive and negative. That is the next step we are going to do okay. So we can write as negative 29 plus 1 over 70 and on this side is going to be negative 29 minus 1 over 70. Let's simplify this left hand side. So that's going to give you simply negative 28 over 70 and if you simplify if you divide both sides by 14 that's going to give you negative 2 over 5 
So x equals to negative 2 fifth is one of our solution. And on this side, you can write this one is negative 30 over 70. And if you simplify this thing, that is going to give you simply x equal to negative 3 over 7 as you can see over here so these are our two solutions so if we don't want to write our uh, solution in terms of a set notation so you can write in that set notation negative 2 fifth comma negative 3 over 7 and that is our answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more exciting videos once again, thanks for your support. Bye.